It's really basic research. It's an, an effort to help biologists to understand the inner workings of this very complicated signaling network. It certainly helps with understanding normal cell motion in development, in wound healing, as well as what happens when things go really wrong, like in cancer metastasis, for example. Now, a cell's ability to move is driven by the movement of the proteins within it. But our next guest has discovered that the patterns that these proteins form is not at all random. Joining us now to discuss a little bit more and talk through some examples, I'm delighted to be joined by Professor Leah edelstein keshet Leah, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. To start off with, for those that uh, skipped biology, perhaps you could just tell us what cell motility is and how does it work? Sure. So as shown by the movie here, we're seeing a white blood cell making its way between these discs that are red blood cells. That white blood cell has to chase after pathogens. And so motility is going to be a very fundamental aspect of its function. In the work that you've been doing, what have you found to be unique and interesting about the proteins that are driving this movement? The network of proteins inside a cell is extremely complicated as shown by this diagram. We focused attention on the inner core, the regulatory hub of this tangle. And we've stripped it down to looking at one protein at a time in a model that's simple enough to analyze mathematically. And how have you been looking at this then? And what have you been looking for? So it turns out that these proteins get redistributed in the cell to define a front and a back. So where they're highly active, that may be the front of the cell and vice versa for the back. Now what we've done is hook together a reaction diffusion system, PDEs, that show how this happens. And we've discovered a phenomenon called wave pinning, something where the wave of activity enters the cell, sweeps towards the back, but it stops in the middle. That defines the back and the front uniquely and accounts for the polarization. And can you talk us through what's happening down here on the slide? So just this piece by itself produces this stalling wave. When you add another influence to it, whether it's the cytoskeleton, the cell's structural proteins, or mechanical tension, it turns out that many different kinds of exotic patterns and waves can occur, as shown here. So what has the purpose of your research been then? It's really basic research. It's an, an effort to help biologists to understand the inner workings of this very complicated signaling network. And, and what will that information help the biologists with? Sure, it certainly helps with understanding normal cell motion in development, in wound healing, as well as what happens when things go really wrong, like in cancer metastasis, for example. Well, Leah, your lecture is later on in the week. Yes. I'm, I'm sure it'll be fascinating, and I think you'll have a lot of people coming after this. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me.